Hi, I'm Dr. Relly Nadler. I'm here to tell you about my book, Leading with Emotional Intelligence, Hands-On Strategies for Building Confident and Collaborative Star Performers. What are the key differences of someone who's in a top 10% and someone who's below? I imagine you've always asked that question. Executives I work with always ask that question. Well, the book answers many of these questions. How do I increase the confidence to be a star player? How can I become more effective as a leader? How do I develop my people to become our next leaders? How can I communicate to be more successful? And what can I do at my next team meeting to improve morale and improve performance? The book is filled with a hundred different emotional intelligence strategies, tools, checklists, questions, and action applications. So the goal is really to drive home these EI concepts. So what is emotional intelligence? Emotional intelligence is defined as understanding yourself, managing yourself. So there's a self side, understanding others, and managing others. They are foundational leadership competencies. And emotional intelligence has been found to be the key skill for moving someone up in the organization. In recent research, studies have shown that 66% of employees report too little interaction with their bosses and only 21% of employees say their job performance is where it should be. So a key aspect is the leader's time, but not only the time, what do they do to maximize their time? Well, I wrote the book, Looking for Ways to Raise Emotional Intelligence. I put together the tools of working with executives that I've worked with for about 30 years, over 15,000 interviews with executives, managers, leaders, people that I've helped to have breakthroughs and successes. When someone has a success, my favorite question is, hey, how do you make that happen? Now, I'm always looking for the success, strengths, what are the, what I would say, the micro initiatives that can create a macro impact. So I pick six areas that I deal with often as an executive coach and in training in organizations. One is, is emotional self-control, two is confidence, three is teamwork and collaboration, Four is developing others, five is, is communication, and six is empathy. Each one I interviewed someone, and there's a star secret, and then there's also the coach's corner. And the tools and models are described simply using a methodology of follow the bouncing ball or paint by numbers. So I'm trying to make this as simple, practical as possible. Leading with emotional intelligence has the plays to develop winning seasons for you and your team. A couple of the key highlights, there's some EI profiles, famous leaders, and where are they on emotional intelligence? So you can see them in action. People like Warren Buffett, his vision and his leadership of being, dealing with powerful CEOs. Uh, Jeffrey ML from GE, his staying power, his adaptability. We look at kind of where he is. We also look at a, a picture of a profile of Bill Clinton. Incredible as far as influence skills, relationship skills, where did he derail? The book is full of assessments. There's seven assessments. Two key ones that you get if you go to my website are where are you on emotional intelligence? It's called the EI Star Profile. And also the derailer detector. What are the key areas that someone is going to derail, get off the track for success? So I use these tools on a daily basis. I'm in organizations every day. People like Comcast Entertainment, DreamWorks Animation, Vanguard Health Systems, BMW, if you go to the website, leadingwithei.com, there's some free EI assessments and you can see where you are and also where your team is on some of these key attributes.